it. So, well, in general, I'm I'm kind of uncomfortable with how he's moving around me and how I'm I how see. I could restrict that. All right. So, two questions. First off, um, aren't you somewhere in Europe? Uh, you UK? Uh, no, I... I'm actually I'm I'm a German Marv, but I'm doing an exchange semester in Korea right now. Oh, oh, that's cool. All right, that that makes no sense. How you could fight Konotori. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, isn't, yeah. This, isn't that a Japanese fox? How are you, how are you fighting him? <laughs> no, in Korea right now. Yeah. All right, all right, that's cool. Um, secondly, yeah, fox is pretty fast. You, at the very least, need to familiarize the threat zones that he presents. Uh, you know, most commonly, it's his shore up nair, his running shine, running down tilt. At least recognizing the range of his moves is a good start to uh, get a handle of how he could go in. Uh, can you be a little bit more specific on how he runs you over? Like, do you does he like kind of like uh, dash dance, wheeze around your moves, or like you just feel like he's like overwhelming you? Yeah, the thing is with him, I wasn't quite sure when he was gonna go in. Like, he was mixing up, mixing it up really well. Uh, so, like, he kept like doing a short hop, like kind of in the threat range, and like waiting for me to do something. And I usually did because I like panic mm. and like. Even when I got out, he kept on chasing me, and I'm not really familiar with that because, like, usually most foxes that I played before just back off when they like when I roll out or something. But he kept on like he knew he was still like in my, like in my zone, and he kept on like rushing me down. So I was really bad at escaping that. I see. Um, okay, so the part where he's waiting for you, that's just him outplaying you. Um, generally speaking, anyways, like he did. Basically, what he did is he made it look like he's going to approach, and then waited, and then waited for your attack, and then he he beat you while you attacked. That's just a, a basic feint, and he punished you accordingly. So what you could do is just wait yourself and kind of like counter his counter approach in a way. Just like do a show hop in there in place or down tilt in place like a little bit later. As for the part where he's running you over afterwards, uh, that that sounds like you not being familiar with certain positions or ranges. So we we'll see about that in how in uh when we review this mod. So as you know, uh, you will be the one pausing and asking questions on certain interactions that you have issues with. So are you ready? Yeah. All right. Let's get um... started. As I said before, like in the chat, uh, these are two sets, so I prefer we start with the second one, and depending yeah. on how much time we have, yeah, whatever, whatever yeah. suits you. Let me just find the second set. Yeah, it was on the battlefield. Oh, also, punish game really okay. helps. Um, if your punish game is really good in this matchup, then foxes are less inclined to run you over because. Uh, you know, they don't want to yeah, get their Nair CC'd and then get zero to death. Just, there's also another note. There was a little bit of nerves involved with that, but maybe we can see some situations where I could have, like, punished better. All right, all right. That's a nice wave land. But, uh... I was like, I don't know, I, I got so much damage in such a short time, I'm like, wondering. Well, I have I've some things to say about that. Um, okay. That Fox naturally is a pretty fast character, so that damage output kind of just seems... To me, it doesn't look that fast, if I'm being honest, because I, I've seen this like several times, and I'm like, I don't know, that, that seems pretty normal. But to you, since maybe you're not accustomed yeah. to faster foxes, that seems really fast to you. Uh, yeah, definitely. And what m maybe why you feel like this is a fast situation for you, because you got outplayed here in the spot where he with punished your down tilt by waiting with a running shine, and then you're like, oh, uh, uh, what, what do I do about this? And then... uh. And this happened. And then you seem to not be accustomed what to do after SCIing the up air as well. So he kind of like played to his like, I don't know, slight frame advantages. It, it, is that 
does that make it like a little bit clearer to you? Uh, yeah, like a little. I guess I guess like a lot of it is just like adjusting to to its speed. Like as you said, I I'm not used to playing like boxes that are as fast as him. Hmm. So it's like kind of all new territory to me. Like the way it punishes as well. well. Yeah. Um. Here when I SDI the upper. Uh, what should I do in this situation? Well, uh, I, well, you know, landing for aerial is kind of like you know the level one move to do after you SCI up air and like you're fine out of it. Um, what happened afterwards was a little unfortunate. Like I think fair and play should have been in that full up drill, but like you know that happens. And even when that yeah, does okay. happen, like Fox doesn't necessarily has like true links on Marp. Um, that drill he did, like you could like just DI away. You don't even need to SCI that because he like he just drilled in place, and uh, he can't yeah. get any true follow ups off of that. Uh, he could still outplay you more, but you know that's just him outplaying you. But like just being aware of that in the first place, uh, like what what does happen? Yeah, I if you've done like a slightly later fair, you would have been that full up drill. Uh, I don't know if you react to that full up or not. If that was like a panic fair, but yeah. I, I thought how you dealt with this. Is yeah, I thought overall how you dealt with that uh, counter hit was fine, aside from like that fair. Like, I think you could have done that fair a little later. Yeah, I think I think I expected to hit him rising out of it. Yeah, rising fair. I don't. I mean, it's rising full up. Yeah, it's, it, it well, it's like it can yeah. be full up, but it's not consistent. And I don't know if you were trying to beat full up necessarily. It is like the first five seconds of an interaction. Uh, yeah. Well, it's also set two, so maybe you were expecting it. Yeah. So I like I don't know what happened to set one. So, uh, how how did set one end? Just out of curiosity. Well, <laughs> set one I got three old, mm. and it was like I spent most of set one just like adjusting to his threat range. That's why I wanted to set to watch set two. I see. Uh, mainly I see. because uh, in set two I kind of like figured out a bit like how far he can nail, like how fast he can get to me and stuff. Makes sense. Uh, was he yeah. still? In set one, was he full hopping a lot? Mm, no, he's mostly dash dancing. He was mostly okay. So, believe, yeah. so you're switching it up probably. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, you might not be expecting that full hop that happens sometimes, but still, uh, there's a lot of leeways for Marth in this matchup, especially like just like purely the amount of counter plays he has on hit versus Fox. It's quite a bit. Uh, yeah, true. you should you should always keep in mind about that. That Fox doesn't really have too many true punishes on Mart that like low percents. It's like below like yeah. forty. Is like before like Nair can knock down. Uh, yeah, always yeah. keep that in mind. And like that, it, when you when you like keep that in mind, where uh, Fox can't just freely run over you at lower percents, that will help you a lot against like the more rush down heavy Foxes. Because then, then they're they're thinking twice that they should go in, and that hesitation is sometimes all you need. In so I mean, like scenarios. stuff like SDIing the drill, SDIing the upper, holding down on there. Yeah, like yeah. that stuff, right? Just okay. like holding down, having your defenses uh, ready, those help a lot across every gotcha. box, honestly. But even more so with like fast boxes. Gotcha. Yeah, should have should have regrapped there. Yeah, should have just regrapped. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I'm trying to implement like more of the like that. Obviously, wasn't the situation, but I guess I was kind of like overwhelmed with stuff. But like usually, I get to gr get the grab like on the left because they try to like they uh, take to the left to prepare a slide off by just like wave them and grab them. They usually then the eye up the, to the platform afterwards. Yeah. But I like try to mix them up and like back throw or down throw. To get the, like to keep them on the platform. Yeah, the most important part though is that you you have to react because uh, they yeah, might not DI yeah, the exactly. way you want. So it's always that's true. You need to always react, but yeah, you did a slight. The reason why that nair worked is because you did it a little later than the first interaction. Yeah. I'll wait here. This used to like this happens a lot. I like with an aerial think I can get back, but he's like he's like really good with his reactions on on that. Yeah, when you when you okay, this is a very classic box mart one hundred one interaction. Is like when you're this close. This also happens a lot in the mart ditto where uh, 
if you're like oh hold on yeah if you're like this point blank close uh what happens all the time is Marth doesn't like being there so he dashes back but because you're so close to your opponent you can't dash back far enough yeah uh if you had like a slightly better frame advantage you you can with a long dash back like i have a, just one long dash back you can avoid you could actually with punish this in air but because you were late from your fair like you had a little bit of lag from your fair that happened here that's like one of the situations i had like the biggest struggle uh against him because like the, the yeah. ranges are like like the difference is so subtle like he barely clips me there and like recognizing in the heat of the moment where i can or cannot dash pick where i should rather like do something else yeah it's a very like, very common habit yeah. to like whiff a fair and then dash back uh i think you did yeah. a fair after you uh landed from platform right or yeah. like something or like like yeah, you land from platform here, and he he just stayed right outside of the range and uh, whiff punished basically. Uh, if you if you weren't in lag from fair, you could have dashed back. By the way, like if you were to empty land mm -hmm. and then dash back earlier, you could have gone out. But uh, mm, I see. you're in lag, and this will happen. What do you? What else do you think you have? Like aside from dash back, like. Do you think like you the most options? obvious thing I can think of is like dash in. Yeah, you could you could cross up, but you could also like maybe up tilt in place. I'm not sure. Like jab up tilt, maybe you could uh, buffer mm. roll or shield, maybe. Uh, you don't always have to dash back. Is the point? And you know yeah. it happens. Like dash back is all all within our. It's within our marked blood that we have to dash back sometimes, but if they punish it like once or twice, like you have to know to switch it up later. Yeah, up tilt might have actually been really good here. I don't because know if up tilt would have been of... this because like he's acting really fast, but um, the I most mean, if it would have, it would have been really good. The yeah. thing is, I'm kind of like like he he was overshooting me a lot. Uh, like I mean, th this wasn't really an overshoot, just like a little bit. Yeah, it was mo but... mostly wolf punish. Yeah. Uh. But like I'm kind of like biased against up tilt because I like I see so many like newbie mobs just like they whiff a move and they spam up tilt and I'm like no this is bad. Well so yeah, I, I mean if you do if you do any move like ten times in a row, then that move's just bad. Uh, yeah. You know, Mart's S smash is a great move, but if you do it like ten times in a row prior, then it's it's bad, <laughs> right? If yeah, you true. if you like run up grab ten times in a row, then it's bad. So like, um, it, it's all in moderation. Like that's true. You know, Zane's S smashes are pretty good, but that's because he only does it like once in a blue moon. Yeah, makes sense. You can pull up around me again, I guess. Yeah. I guess I should kind of work. Yeah, you. I didn't really how didn't how do you think you should be? Full hop is my question. Uh, I guess short hop upper, like short, short hop up there. depends. Like short okay. hop weight. What? Yeah. Uh, what kind of weight? Mm. Like I'm not sure if I understand if my definition of weight's the same as your version of weight. Like I, I short hop, and then like. Uh... Well, I shot up around where I think he will like double jump, like double jump into me, where like fair or upper beats him, and then like time the upper of there. So you're trying to scout out his double jump. I'm trying to hit him like out of the double jump. Okay, but what if he doesn't double jump? Like he's just he full ops and then like he's just trying to drill at you. Like what do you do to beat that? Uh, not double jump. Sorry, full hop. I mean. I like, cannot react to it like with while I'm in the air with timing a fair or an up air. So you're saying to time a later fair or an up air? Yeah. So what is this full hop, what is this rising fair trying to cover? Mm, let me think. I guess it's this rising full up again. 
Like I'm trying to hit him like out of the full off. Yeah, so you can only do that if you're really close to him. Like even though that's like fairly close, it's not close enough. Like uh Are you seeing thirty two twenty one on the time clock? Uh twenty two, yeah. Like thirty two twenty two. Yeah, so out of this, um, okay, so this is when you start acting, and you need to, this is, this is not, well, one, you need to be close, and two, he has to, like, not, he has to not be full hopping yet, is the other requirement. So, I think you mm -hmm. were close enough, but you didn't get out the fair in time in order to beat this full hop. You can only fair his full like instant fair if you're one close and also two he's he's not in the air yet. Like you can only beat him during his jump squat. I see. So that's the only time that rising fair is like usable is if you want to call out his full hop. But a more reliable way of beating full hop after the fact is just jumping in place. And then as he's falling, then you fare up air. Up air if he's like vertically above yeah. you, and then if he's not as vertically above you, then you fare. I so, guess I was kind of also trying, like if he runs in nares or something, I was trying to beat that like simultaneously. But I, I don't think it would have even worked here. Because no. it was like already in my face. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and like he could all, like, I get the idea that you're trying to uh, convey, but this half of this box's game plan is also waiting out your aerials so if you're like predictable yeah. of like your like wall out wall out plan he's just gonna be like all right well i'm just gonna weave around your wall and invade you there so sometimes weights are necessary and when you do wait sometimes you will get hit by the instant there and like that's a mix-up at the end of the day that's just a mix-up that you need to accept and play around because there's no way mm -hmm. you can cover both instant and weight you you have to choose one based on their patterns of how they like going in. I see, I see. So, just as a little tidbit, because some marts, including myself, for a while, like played this matchup like total cowards, where uh, I, I I only want to whiff punish, but I I've come to realize that's not. I don't think that's the proper way of playing the matchup. That you you have to like wait yourself and accept the slight risk of getting like instant attacked. And then, like, you know, when they instantly attack, then my mix-up of, like, retreating becomes stronger, you know? So, yeah. Uh, yeah the point is, uh, wait a little bit for punishing this full up, And also, you need to wait yourself sometimes. Having a could have fared him there. Oh well, this thing's fine. You seem pretty lost. <laughs> yeah, I kinda do. What happened here? You could have yeah, yeah that. Sure. I should have just grabbed it. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know. I, 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 got, I had like a feeling that like you just really wanted to swat at him. Right? Yeah. Am, I, am I off of this True. assessment? It's like, come on, I just want to catch this damn fox. Like, <laughs> no, that's that's not true. Like, this is like kind of like cow, cat and mouse esque, where fox is the mouse and you're the cat. Just like, you really, you really want to like lunge at him. But uh, he's mm -hmm. not giving it to you. Uh, and you need to earn those hits a little better. Uh, so what you need, first off, is what I'm noticing here is that you're trying to force the engagement too much. Uh, one question I have to ask you is, I, I posted this in my VODs a while back. Did you watch my lesson with Zane? Uh, I did not. You really should. You uh, it's it's yeah, really yeah. good stuff there about mm -hmm. Mark Fox. And one of the first thing he advocates is do not scrap versus Fox because 
Marth as a character is not very good at scrapping. He doesn't have constant hitboxes. Mm. Uh, his moves don't come out the fastest. Even though they are fast, they're not the fastest. His fastest move is dashing back, which is not a scrap tool by any means. His shield's bad. Uh, yeah, he's not a scrap character, and like his yeah, like yeah. his his like attributes as a character punishes him too for like if he gets hit, then it's kind of bad for him. Um, what he does excel at is his range. He if he's like a little his his zoning capabilities makes it so that in like certain positions he like borderline invalidates his opponents. Uh, makes his opponents like hard to come in. And what he advocates to establish that in the first place is claiming center. You don't want to if you if you find yourself like scrapping in a corner despite you having the advantage, stop, take center, <laughs> and play. Yeah. Notice what you did here. Like you you had like all the advantage, but like you like chased them anyways. Like you had center, and then like you kind of just gave it up, and like yeah. you you're yeah. still trying to scrap with him. And that's that's a little bit of a mistake in in Zane's opinion, and I agree with him that you should not try to scrap a fox too often. You can win some scrap know. situations. I'm not saying like you could you should avoid every single one of them, but like when it's preferable, uh, take center and control space is like just Mart as a character. He excels at controlling space, and. Mm -hmm. Uh, playing it like the more lungy kind of style, like it does work. You know, Mewtwo King does has demonstrated why it, why it works. But but like, as Zane says, as I as I've noted myself, like I, I don't know why they work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, Nobody does. Man. Like it works because he has a really good punish game, and his name strikes a fear in every fox's heart. But we don't exactly That's have that kind of privilege and that legacy. So you, we got to play a little differently and. How how to play a little differently is playing center, and I think if you like have the mindset to just play center, control space, you know, let the fox come to me. I think you will have a. I think you will have a more tangible, neutral game plan versus fox. Like I don't think mm. necessarily that Zane's game plan is perfect per se, but it is a lot better than trying to like chase down fox. Like uh, keep in mind, fox is also faster than you as a character. Like his run yeah, speed yeah. is faster so like if he's like running away and you're trying to like barely catch up to him like you you do have the range advantage but like not necessarily to catching up to him like he has ample time to like you know weave around things so claim center and control space is the new mindset i want you to have yeah it makes sense i guess that goes in general not just for invincibility right yeah 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 gotcha And you, you implicitly had that idea, like you were claiming your space, it's just the problem is that like fair kind of sucks at low percents because you get mm. CC'd. So what I would recommend that you do there to be short hop approaches is to either narrow in place or do an empty land and grab. Empty land grab beats them like blatantly trying to crouch in front of their face. Mm, Those I are see. your two big options to beat that kind of approach. You specifically. Oh, I got you. You mean like uh, as a whiff punish, like yeah. empty land grab or? Yeah, yeah. Well, empty land grab. If they're like trying to like like, say after this drill and you like didn't fair, you like empty land and he's like crouching, like just waiting for a reversal. You could just empty land grab. Just like oh, right, you. like grab in place. Yeah. Alternatively, you could narrow sense. in place as well, and it, it, it deals with CC better. I don't think it's perfect, but like it for the most part, it's it's way better. Doesn't it knock over at zero? Uh, it don't worry about it like, for now. Um, okay. Don't worry about it for now. No, I mean, like he was S ASDIing down here, so uh, it might have just like hit him out of it. Kind of, yeah. Nair yeah. is better is, is the point I'm trying to get at. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Land grab. Yeah, that, that's the thing. But like, I don't know. Um, 
Well, what happened here? You like slid off, but then I, okay. For, so here, here's a another issue with that. Uh, why did you down throw? I wanted to keep the tech chase on the platform going. So shouldn't like, you back? I figured he'd be like the anchor to the platform. Yeah. So shouldn't you back throw instead? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you should have back thrown. Back thrown here would prevent the slide off. Just so you know. Oh, I see. Uh, and from there you can set the tech chase by like doing a drop. Drop to platform up there or another re grab or S smash yeah, re. Yeah. But yeah, that's the first big problem. Uh, and then the second problem is like it is still like a DI mix up in the end. But um, you did get the DI mix up, it's just that you chose the wrong throw. That's that's all I have to yeah. say about that. Yeah. Again, uh. just like belly clip. I have a question to ask. I guess it, yeah. What do you think about this interaction? This uh, when he's on the side platform. I guess my nair there didn't really do anything. I, I think I just misplaced it. I wanted to like cover underneath the platform. Okay. Uh, well, I guess so... I covered him like running off quicker, but. So when sure. you nair here, what do you what what do you think this nair covers? Like a runoff, whatever, aerial, something. But uh, if Fox were to like shrub, drill, or nair here, do you think this nair would beat that? Uh, no. And why do you think that is? Uh, he, he hits my head. Yeah, he hits your head, but also, like, what do you think is like the main attribute of nair? Fast, I guess. I I mean in terms of what it covers. Like when you use Nair, why do you use it? Like, what are you trying to like accomplish with Nair when your opponent is running at you? Mm, like, mm, I guess. Uh, I guess him, I guess hit him as fast as I can. Uh, okay. Uh, let me ask you another question. If somebody is vertically above you, would you still use Nair? Like, I'm I'm talking like right here. Oh, you you mean like you mean Marv Snare? Yeah, Marv Snare. Box of Snare. Okay. That, yeah, I'm talking about uh, Marv Snare. Okay. Like if he's above me, I would not use Nair because like my head is exposed, so it doesn't cover it. I'd use like up air or fair. Yeah. So. Uh, what I'm getting at is Mart's Nair is good at horizontal approach. Like it's stuff, it's good at stuffing out horizontal approaches. It's good at stuffing out short hop level approaches. Like here, Mart's Nair is excellent at that. Mm. And you know, it's like okay at this range. Like if if Fox like was was here, and for some reason short hopped here, uh, I guess this Nair would beat that. Yeah. And like if you and like if you were farther away, like if 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 you if you place a nair here and he like short hop aerialed here, then this nair would beat that. But that's like a very specific angle. And the more important attribute I'm I'm getting at is that nair is good at covering short hop distances, but not as good at covering vertical uh angles. What is better at covering vertical angles is fair and up air, but mainly fair. Um, the reason why I up air should only be like your last resort kind of thing is because not only does it most of the time you don't want like the launch angle of up air, but also because Marth hang time from air for up air is pretty bad. Like he he sticks his hand out, and that makes it so uh, when you're open he could. Anyone could easily reversal you and hit your hand. That's. I don't know if you like. Mm. You you might have subconsciously noticed in like more floatier matchups where like against Peach like you try to like fall up up air you you whiff and then she like hits you afterwards. Uh, you mean like it's more prone to trade? Ye... No, not trading, but the hang time is worse. Uh, what do you mean by hang time? Like his lag if you whiff the up air. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah. No, As sense. opposed to if you were to fair in place, 
the hang time is not as bad. Like you're you're less vulnerable. He doesn't like stick his hand out like, hey, hit my hurt box. So oh, I gotcha. So fair You mean like the animation is worse kind of? The uh, recovery animation. Yeah, for up air, yeah. The recovery the hang time from up air after up air is way worse than fair. Whereas fair, if you were to whiff it, it's okay. It's like Okay. It's most of the time you're not gonna get punished. And a really good attribute of fair is that it covers above Marth. It it starts from the top too. That's that's a more that's the important distinction of why fair here would be better than Nair. Because it starts from mm -hmm. top to bottom, so therefore it's better at covering vertical approaches. So if you were to place a show off fair here, you could have been the side this uh platform side platform approach. That makes sense. And that's well, why maybe... that's that's also why fair is better at beating full hop mm -hmm. than like other tools. I definitely makes sense. My reasoning for the Nair was like it covers like I don't know, that that's again like I guess it's kind of a bad habit. But like a lot of like foxes at the lower levels just like they like just drop off the platform, like try to do an aerial or just like try to get down. I mean yeah, like, just, again like, it... there, like long lasting if they just like kinda of jump into it. Yeah. Again, it's it's uh it's not impossible to hit the Nair. Like I see Zane do it like quite a few times actually, because you know, Nair is good reward. It, if you were to if you're a little further away, the Nair would hit. But it's a lot harder. That's the thing. And fair is a lot more consistent of an answer. Mm -hmm. So Nair is possible, but not at this spacing. Like you're not covering anything with this Nair. That makes sense. So yeah, if you are going to use Nair, be mindful that it's a, it's in a more horizontal spacing. And because it's more horizontal, you need to be further away to account for this like vertical uh, angle. Because there's no way Nair is ever hitting vertically directly above you. Only like yeah. at a diagonal angle. So what happened after the... Did you short off? Yeah, you did. Okay. I should have killed you. Yeah. Again, that Nair. Yeah. But that Nair is good at beating short hop approaches, like I said earlier. I uh, don't don't let you be there. Uh, I don't know. I'm surprised he gave you that recovery. Okay. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> uh, like I'm surprised he like angled his recovery to like you still hitting him. I don't, that shouldn't have happened. Like, he, yeah. I, don't know. I mean, you should just go to ledge or uh, better go. even higher. If he had notches, I think he can. But uh, I oh. think there's like an oh, you mean just like going closer above it. There's many possibilities with notches, and they're not even the ones I thought of. <laughs> Okay. Uh, but uh, you're not covering very much with the neutral B is what I'm getting at. Getting yeah. at. So just uh, when he's like that high, uh, that cl cl distance, d you want to stand there and cover more options than just standing there with neutral B. Okay. Also, yeah, he should have killed you like twice, but you know, that's, yeah, that's Fox. Locked. <laughs> And he kills you anyway. Uh, <laughs> when he's that okay, uh, when he's that close to you, don't re grab a ledge. Yeah, like I that. can stall. It was like uh, you want to like a do a ledge mix up option instead of re grabbing ledge. Back throw. Uh, don't throw again. Yeah. Why? Well, at least you're doing fairs, but he's choosing not to come down. I uh, should have waited. Mm. Yeah, for the tech chase. He gave you a spot dodge that time. The... No! Uh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate. It was way too low. Yeah. 
There's many ways to make it back, but that was not one of them. Yeah, I, I should have just upbeat, but I'm like, I really, I missed yeah, You could have said the... the air dot. Yeah, <laughs> dude, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was bad. Damn. Oh, down tilt, down tilt. Doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was insane. <laughs> How did you... How did I? I, I don't. Oh, I get so what much you, Wait, well, I, I, I SDI you S side, I guess, but like. What, wait, 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 wait. Why? Why did you SDI that? Why? Why? Okay. Why did you SDI that shine? There. I I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you you shouldn't. Like, I guess bad muscle memory. Uh, you don't need to SDI the shine when you're close to the ledge. Like when he shines there, yeah. all you need to do is just time a fastball. That that yeah. just made you die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you only want to SCI shine when you can't go to ledge, so, so then, like, you can't get wave shine follow-ups as easily, but, yeah, that, that, that was pretty funny. Fly off. If you are a little faster, you could have gone that. Yeah. Wasn't really confident in going for it. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, do you know what you could have done to beat this slide off? Mm. Turn around up tilt. Wait and grab. There's one, but like there's the actually a very. Y yeah. You... There's actually a really, like, currently it's, like, not very meta heavy. F smash, where... I guess. No, 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 not that. Not that. No? Okay. No, not even. Not that. Uh, you thought I was going to say that, but no. Uh, <laughs> I did. There's uh, another option where there is counterplay, but it's not very well known at the moment. And even then, it's still really strong because uh, they would have to be sliding off the entire time. So then they'd be very vulnerable to S smash or up tilt. Uh, it's called late up air. When you late up air during, like, during the end of their tech roll, uh, for more technical uh, descriptions, during frames 30 to 39 of his tech roll, uh, you could input a late up air, and fox cannot slide off, unless they do a special really? angle. But most foxes do not notice, and uh, you could do a late up air, react to this tech. Like you could react to the tech roll, do a late up air, and fox cannot combo, or he cannot slide off off the ledge. And even better, because most of the time, since they are trying to slide off, they will just be stuck to the platform because like they're doing ASCI down. And then you could like combo that to another up tilt, and most of the time that would kill them because they're doing a survival DI at that point, and then uh, you could get a free dare after that. So just letting you know, you could do a late up air. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Is that like um like Hex recently made a video on the slide off stuff? Like he mentioned yeah. something about like there being different states in the role, like where they're like in the air or something. Does yeah. Something or... No. <laughs> no. No. I I honestly forgot most of the things he. Okay. Said because honestly they're pretty excessive, but you could do late up air to punish this slide off harder. Just so you know. Oh, huh. so they can't slide off at all. They can, but I, they I mean, don't like, know uh, for now. Normal, yeah, yeah. Normal. With normal slide off, they cannot. Like at all, or is it like at all percent dependent? No, okay, they wow. they crazy. cannot. Uh, well, like once you knock them down, but yeah, past twenty percent. Gotcha. So, just uh, letting you know that okay, interesting. I don't think, like, now in hindsight, I guess F Smash would have worked pretty well, because he was, like, he was at kind of high percent, he was holding out, might have just, like, almost killed him, give me an edge. Yeah, uh, the other mix-ups work, too, but I'm, I'm giving you a little, something that's a little bit more guaranteed for now. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Check that out. Try and uncle punch yourself. And like most people don't even hold slide off that long either because they're switching to survival di instantly after that so like there's still value mm. to learning slide off also what happened uh you, you uh, the, if you read my ledge get up yep a bad bad ledge dash yep uh that's uh, so bad fox.
scientific crap, dude. I I was afraid you wouldn't get that. <laughs> I think that you cool. I think you only got that because he uh he upbeat upwards. Uh so it was kind of like a ban yeah, he like upbeat more upwards. I mean, yeah, but like where else could he have gone? I don't think he could have like, He could he could have gone more me. he could have gone more diagonal. To uh would that have dodged me though? Not necessarily dodge you but hit you. Because you did it a little late. Like the upwards mm. angle of Firefox made it so like the hitbox wasn't in your way, but uh, if he was more diagonal to towards you, he could have hit you. Uh, what I'm saying is you could have done this up here earlier. Like if you dropped yeah, out sooner, well, you you there would have been no risk at all. That makes sense. Yeah, I need to kind of relearn the timings because. Well, not just uh, that. You just need the... you just need to get no, down I mean, there earlier. Uh, the thing is, like back in Paul, I used to do it a lot. Uh, but back in uh, Paul, the uh, yeah. hitbox of the uppy was way smaller. Uh, really? So I'm like, whenever I go for it, I like kind of like miss the timing a bit and get like burned. Oh, interesting. So I'm trying to relearn it again. So it was smaller? Yeah, it was smaller in Paul, the initial uppy hitbox. The reverse uppy hitbox? No, the, the, of Fox, the Firefox. Oh, his Firefox is smaller? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Of course, yeah. Of course, there's like the, like, there's a couple frames where there's like no hitbox. Oh. But still, if you go in too early, you still get burned. Wow, I did. I knew his up yeah. was shorter, but I did also didn't. Oh, that, that's interesting. Yeah, it's such a weird change. It's like a way to get used to the bigger one. But yeah. Huh. <clears throat> well, the more I learn. <laughs> it's really important knowledge there. Yeah, uh, well, I didn't realize that was a big change. And uh, I, I, I'll judge you less for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, okay, but a, g a good general rule of thumb, anyways, when the up being Fox is up B, uh, he you generally want to aim for the head because that's where his up B hitbox is. Like it kind of like, if I recall correctly, it kind of like looks like this, like like this is like the hip hitbox of up B, and it's like his head's barely covering out of there, so. You want to try heading, aiming for the head most of the time. You can still space around it, but if you aim for the head, I think you will have the most success rate with that. Ah, uh, I see. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Trying to run up grab, you're not keeping center. It's still scrapping with him, but uh, I mean, I guess it's worth it in an FD. But still, oh, you got a double oh, jab there. Action. You gotta punish that. God damn it! That, that you should have been up four socks of two. Yeah, yeah. Imagine how much easier it would have been to win this game. No, no, dude. You you got you gotta hit those uh, fast water ledge. Yeah. That's that's a big. Okay, so two big things. Even if you miss a fast water ledge, a very common habit that. Fox players prey on is if you miss a fast fall to ledge, they're like, oh, easy shine. Uh, don't give yeah. them that. Uh, even if you miss a fast fall to ledge, just up B below. So then, like, you don't give them a free stock at least. But uh, the first and foremost problem is you need a fast fall to ledge. Uh, learn the timing. There's an event. Yeah. There's like a wave shine event in Uncle Punch. So you practice that. Is it in the public build as well? Yeah. I Thing. I am. Um, I don't think it has that there. I'm not sure, but I think it should. It's like it's like not specifically fast fall to ledge, but it's just fox wave. Oh, shine. you mean the wave shine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. yeah like okay. you, you should be able to practice it there. If not, yeah. then like twenty x x replays. Yeah, it's true. Okay. Yeah, it was just like ah, uh, that 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 hurts me. <laughs> Claiming center. Try to read his running shine, and then he gave it to you later. <laughs> that's that's cool. Then you read that tech. I don't know why he gave that to mm -hmm. you. If I was coaching a uh, Cornatori, I would tell him that I, that he's forgetting his game plan because 
Uh, I don't think I don't think you really switched up your style that much in between game one and game two, but his style definitely changed. Uh, I think he's a little scared of FD when I don't think he sh like. I mean, I guess every space he's deserved to be scared of FD at least a little bit, but um, he's definitely not playing like himself for sure. But yeah, that, mm -hmm. that's just that's like my little. Uh, like I mean, he's digression. like running in more. Yeah, he's not waiting as much as before. Waiting, he's. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's more that he's messing up more than you're more than that you're adapting. If that if that makes sense. That yeah, makes sense. So that's all. That's that's all I had to say. <sighs> now, why didn't he spot dodge? I'm, uh, no, I was like, I, I liked the fair, and then uh, the finisher was not as sufficient. Because I should have upbeat or like. Yeah, you should upbeat. You should upbeat or one for another fair. Yeah. Uh, don't di away this up air. Uh, better foxes will hit you with a single hit up air. So just di in place mm -hmm. and like play a fifty fifty with uh, SCI. Just letting you know for the future. It should have been a little closer to ledge. Oh, you should have reacted yeah. to that. <laughs> it's happy again, yeah. God damn, missing a lot of tools. Can you do practice them again? Mm. You should have doubled down tilt there. Oh, like to cover the run in. Yeah. yeah. What a call out. I could have gotten a CC grab there. Let's see. Hey, yeah, it's really hard to get a pivot grab there, so I would recommend yeah. up tilting. Between 10 to 20, you should up tilt. If they I uh, guess slide and, the and, and tech chase then? Because yeah, I, I don't chase. think I can get it. Like, yeah, okay. He should have. He should be edge guarding you here. Yeah, uh, I don't know how he dropped it, but he should have killed you there. Uh, he doesn't know how to dash. Oh, empty land. I think he tried to CC, which is why he like turned around. So that's kind of what I'm talking about with that empty land grab option. But uh, yeah. Where? Uh, right before you got that grab. Yeah, like, you, you saw him that he blatantly tried to CC, so that's the kind of counter I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Um, why don't we review one more game, and I think that should be good. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah, so yeah. whatever games you have left. Uh... Okay, let's do the last one then. Right. Like, I win the next FD game, like, barely, F or I'm not sure. Uh... Yeah, barely. And how does it end? Yeah. After that, there's like a dream end one. I lose that barely. Dream end can be a little hard <laughs> if uh, if you can't kill. <clears throat> oh, you got that later fair. That yeah, that. yeah. That, that's it. You almost got that empty land, but he was a little further away. So you could have down tilted. You could do an empty mm -hmm. land down tilt if he's further away. I see. Should I try to grab his side B. Yeah, I, I just saw him like... What happened? He was in the corner. I thought he was just gonna like full hop stall. Yeah, that's... Just like do one full hop to like wait for me to do something. I wanted to grab him out of it, but he like side B. Push him off stage. Uh, he ledge dashes. Oh man, Roy's own. Uh, 
Yeah, you should have died there. <laughs> Lucky for me, yeah, I yeah. should have died. <laughs> That's a meat king. That's unfortunate. I like how uh, you're barely weaving out of his juggles, but uh, you should have you should have side beat here. You shouldn't have a beat immediately. I was just kind of mm, can't he like just like shy me on reaction. No, because it's a mix-up here, because uh, let's observe what happened. Why would oh, yeah. he... Okay, so if it wa if he was invincible, yes, it could be a reaction. But at this yeah. point, he's not invincible, so if he were to call out your side B, he's accepting that he might get clipped by up B. So what That's a lot true. of foxes do instead is that they'd rather play it safe, stay on stage, and... Uh, play more mix sets B side Bs. So what you mm. should have done here is at least like test them a little bit and then like keeping that in mind. It's like, oh okay, I'll I I will up B later if you are willing to be aggro of your edge guards. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I, I I'll tell you the honest truth. I probably would have shield grabbed there too, just <laughs> once though, just once. Yeah. No, oh, that was a that, that was a fair, F wasn't smash, it? Yeah, uh, F smash. Yeah. I would have gone for a Ken combo there because he died in last time, so you should have you should have went in there and tried to go for a Ken combo there. Mm. And yeah, he was drifting in, so he was obviously trying to di in. It's neutral B there. Against the side B. Oh, oh no, I see, I see. <laughs> God, I hate that so much. Yeah, you gotta wait it out sometimes. Just, yeah. just keep them he, honest. He like never keep did it honest. in the other sets before. So yeah, like, like, yeah. Get, he started typing. I, I, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Out of curiosity, you, you play this online, right? Yeah. Do you know what wasabi is? Uh, yeah, I used it there. Actually. All right, all right, just just wondering. Yeah. A lot of surprising amount of people don't know. No, you can never. Yeah, I figured you'd like slide off and try to hit me. I don't know. You can never ask smash on Streamland Plat. And he wouldn't have dropped. If he were to edge cancel, he would. They would always double jump. Mm. Uh, what is he doing? <laughs> I don't know. You didn't have to double jump? Wait, I thought you landed. Oh, don't don't double jump early like that. Uh, there's no point in doing that. Like, you, you're... Uh, like, what is this double jump to? Mm. You know what, you, you really... You need, your double jump is precious as a Marth. If you don't have a double jump, you're nothing. My logic behind it is kind of like I can get more distance because I can start side being earlier. Yeah, but you are you're already pretty far up, anyways. Like all double jump does is like, I mean, it also puts you a little closer to the stage. But also the big thing double jump does is you know give you a little bit more vertical space. There's no point in double jumping there. Mm. Uh, like if you are pretty, if you're more like more down here, then. I guess you're kind of 
in a rock in a hard place and sure yeah but when you're this far up there's no reason to expand your double jump this way that makes sense like you know how useful your double jump would be right here mm. or like you you have to make him guess if you're gonna double jump or not you could have you could have made it back Chain grab. No. Seems standard. Uh, I, I still don't like that neutral B, but it, it worked out. That was so tricky. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he. But he that's he, what, like, I don't know, like the, the short hop, like, close. Yeah, and, he he pretty much outplayed you like, really hard. Um, yeah. Like he he pretty much has been at that interaction. He was fainting a lot, and you're like, oh, I don't know when I should swing, and then uh, and then you got hit. Yeah. So. What I would recommend there, if you want to deal with those kind of feints, is either swing later, or move yourself to set up that like little, to like give him a signal that's like, hey, I'm not going to be sitting there. You can't manipulating me. You like you can't manipulate me, and I'm dashing in to like present a threat that I can hit you. And uh, it's a very complex interaction that I won't talk about right now, but. Uh, Those are your two things, and what I would recommend for you, like for now, is to at least just swing later to like get the basic concepts. You know, the basics will take you further. Just, mm -hmm. just swing a little later. That's that's the. If there's like one big theme that I've observed, is that you need to swing a little later. So, here's my bullet points. One, swing a little later to beat feints. Uh, to beat feints, mix up between instantly swinging, then swinging a tad later. That's pretty much a crux of winning neutral. Uh, right. Against a fox that waits and then like goes in sometimes. Uh, yeah. Two, uh, what else can we talk about with number two? Uh, fair is good at covering vertical approaches like full hop and side platform, and Nair is good at covering horizontal approaches like short hop aerial. Uh, three. I felt like your your punish game yeah, could, really use, could, could like use I, I a lot more refinement. A lot I want to say it was a lot of nerves, but yeah, a lot of throws yeah. didn't make sense, and edge guards were especially against side B was lacking. You miss a lot of side B edge guards too, so yeah. you you yeah. gotta retrain the audio cues. And uh, for what else? I guess keep center stage, not chase. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't don't scrap. Versus Fox. Claim center and control stage. Uh, is there anything else that we could talk about? Mm, let me think. Because we talked a bit about the low percent, like the defensive stuff, to like have that. Uh, have that ready. I don't quite remember. But like the the like SD edit drill. Yeah, SD those, those are like all like mini points that uh yeah that like I don't think it's 
Yeah. I don't think it's as important as what I listed. Um, do you have any other questions? Uh, I think that's it. All right. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to message me anytime. Sure. Yeah. It was very insightful. Yeah. Thanks no for problem. your time. <clears throat>